What have I done? What's happening? Hello everyone, Thor Ranks is here and welcome back to No Man's Sky episode 115 where we've jumped to this system to speak to the Merchants Guild representative and now it says we're being contacted by Apollo but I thought Null was who we were supposed to contact. Oh no, Apollo is... hold on. I'm sorry for contacting you so late or early. I don't know the time of day on your world, and that's the problem, isn't it? I... Apollo breaks off mid-sentence, their heart turning crimson. Are you alright? It found me, just... Just like it found you, I can't feel my legs. It's strange. I'm still in here, don't you understand? It won't let me leave. It's seen me. What do you see? It showed me things. The atlas showed me my soul. The numbers in there. I... Sometimes I think about my past, my future. Sometimes... I do what everyone in the universe does, I know, but I can't help but want to be happy. Money, doing what you're told day after day, that's the answer, isn't it? Oh, I don't. No. No, money and doing what you're told day after day? That is not the answer. What? Apollo appears upset, shaking their head. Eventually they speak, their words measured, stronger as if coming from an organic throat. I don't know this language. Are you speaking Atlas? At this point, Apollo says nothing else. But something, I don't want to know what, something fills me with hope, both for my friend and for all life. Wow. How many... It was two planets in this system, right? Two large planets. Okay, so let's go ahead and scan them. We've got large planet one with some rings is a rattling planet. I mean, I'm tempted to go see what a rattling planet is. And look at some of these asteroids. No. Or we have a hollow terminus on a flourishing planet. We do need to take a picture on a tropical world. All right, let's head to the hollow terminus and contact Null. I don't necessarily want to put that off. Looks like we are going to be on the night side of the planet. I haven't seen any large oceans, but there are definitely a lot of like lakes and patches of water on this planet. A lot of weather too. All these clouds. Oh, okay, this is uh, kind of a mountain in our way. Or a, a giant hill. Yeah, it's sort of rolling hills. Nothing too obnoxious. Alright, let's go ahead and bring our ship in for landing. I think we'll go ahead and do the save and chart thing. Might as well. I can't justify passing up free nanites. Although we haven't... There's a lot of uploads we haven't done. I will do them off camera when we need nanites. But um, in case anybody's wondering, we're just going to talk about this real quick for a second. I have a lot of discoveries over here that I have yet to upload. Like a lot. Creatures, planets. and um, But I had them up to a point where everything before that has been uploaded. So I'm going to wait until I'm hurting for nanites and I'm and I need them to purchase something and then I'm going to upload them. So I'm I'm sort of using it as like a bank, a reserve of nanites. Just in case anybody's wondering, I haven't forgotten. I just haven't wanted to take the time to do it off camera yet. 
Whoa! Fauna, creatures, look at that noise. Remembers faces, eats copyright. <laughs> Doofus Rick! Again, with these weird mesas? That one's got like a crater in the middle of it. Interesting. Oh! Let me back up here. Let's. No, not down the ladder. Up the ladder. Thank you. Alright, let's get in contact with Null. Tower hosts a powerful transmitter. Yep, tune it to null. Signal match detected. Hello, null. What say you? Well then, tell me what you saw. Tell me what you learned. Mm, I think you already know. Knowing what? How can I tell you if I know what you know if you have not told me? Ooh. I tell Null all that I have learned of the Vikings' crusade against the Sentinels, how they nearly succeeded, only to have the barbarism of the Gek first spawn draw the Sentinels back to the galaxy. I learned that the homeworld of the Corvax was destroyed by the Gek, the survivors enslaved or melted down. For years, the Korvax toiled beneath their oppressors until the Empire fell and they were free once more. The Gek became Atlas worshippers. But from the Gek, I learned something different. The Gek did not redeem themselves of their own accord. A great number of Korvax sacrificed themselves, mingling their nanite blood with countless unborn Gek. Their impulse to trade is a mere evolution of their impulse to war. A few signals switched in the brain. What do you know, Null? I was born to travel, to see these worlds, to catalog them, to give a name to every creature, every planet, the skies, they were mine. The Atlas told me I could never see them all, there were too many, so I did what I had to do. I survived in the face of eternity. I saw all the worlds of my universe. I returned to the Atlas. I told them what I had done. I asked if it was proud of me. It laughed at me. I'm sure of it. It showed me universe upon universe, each with another traveler just like me. I was not special. I was not unique. The things I had to do to get here, the things I had to become, none of it meant a thing. I'm just going to listen to this. I did not lie to you. I really do want to discover what's wrong with existence. The walls between worlds are falling, and that's bad for everyone. How do you know? I have been alive for a very long time, Traveler. I know as much as you would know, had you seen the things that I have seen. All I know is this, the Atlas had infinity to work with, and with few exceptions, this triad repeats. Gek, Korvax, Viking. Gek, Korvax, Viking. Traders, warriors, scientists. All their stories ending in violence. Think about it. How would the Atlas speak? How would it cry for help? It would use the only language it knew. It would speak with life. It would create. Whatever these life forms do, they always end in conflict. I think something terrible is happening to the Atlas. It is screaming the only way it knows how. Well, what can be done? And now it won't speak to me anymore. It won't... It's chosen you instead, after all I did for it. After... I wanted, I wanted to find out what was different about this universe. We are who we are, but you... Whether because of some soul, because of simulation, it doesn't matter. Why won't it speak to me? Why... Aren't I enough? Null's channel begins to falter, their hologram beginning to fade. They're disconnecting from the hollow terminus. As I watch them depart, I see another channel activate. Apollo's signal emerges. Okay. Traveler. I made it through. I found my way out of the portal. Where are you? I'm standing by a hollow terminus. Let's trade locations. Let's meet and get off this world. All right, I agree. I shared my coordinates and Apollo shares theirs. There must be some mistake. According to our data, we're standing in the same place. We're communicating using the same hollow terminus. We try again, but still the results are the same. The world is silent, but for our voices. 
What's happening here? Why can't we see each other? I don't know. As we speak, I receive a distress signal. It's language my own. It arrives from across the planet. Don't be like that. You are not alone. Tuned to Apollo. The Hollow Terminus is showing. Are you receiving? Let's meet and get off this world. Apollo appears to receive the same signal broadcasting from the same location on their world. Agree to meet. We agree to go and find the source of these distress beacons. Perhaps we'll continue this discussion when we get there. I have no clue what's happening. But I will tell you what, I need a picture of a hollow terminus and a tropical world, so we're going to get both just as soon as I scan some of these creatures here. None of these appear to be predators. This teal grass is interesting. Look at all these different species here. As long as no one's going to try and eat me while I'm taking this picture, we'll be okay. Alright, let's two for one this. Tropical World and Hollow Terminus, go. No? Stand by. photo of a portal. Maybe I didn't have one. A desert world. I know the other one's a desert world. Desert world. Okay, so in fact it was just the tropical world picture and not the hollow terminus. Instead I need a picture of a portal. That's fine. We might be going to a portal very soon, actually. Can scan some of these trees. It's this this soft green. This teal green grass, and the water appears to be red. And the night sky is green. It's like a Christmas planet. Let's see if we can get a few of these plants scanned here. Okay, fair enough. Let's go see if we can find the source of this signal, shall we? Let's make sure we did the save and chart thing. I think we did. We did. Good. Okay. So where would you have me go now? Oh. 30 minutes. Seems like we need to reach the other side of the planet. Let's initiate orbital gravity slingshot now. Oh, whoa, whoa. I take back what I said about not finding an ocean. Hold on. So I'm just curious how deep this ocean gets. Look, these mesas are hollow in the middle. All of them are. If I had to guess, I would say these are probably pretty shallow seas. Hold on, let's get down to the surface here like this. Right? You can 
can see the crystals sort of sticking up off the ground. Now if I run a scan, yeah, not very deep ocean at all. Very shallow seas on this planet. Just curious. All right, let's continue to the continent across these oceans. Yep. To this distress beacon. Which I'm guessing will likely be a portal? Potentially? This planet has a neat color scheme to it, but I, I don't... I don't know. Again, I'm not feeling it. the odd land formations. The forests are a little scraggly. Oh, it's a distress beacon. There is no portal here. None at all. Yeah, I'll give you some chromatic metal, that's fine. Not again. Not another distress beacon. I hear a faint sound as I examine the source of the distress beacon. It does not sound like anything I have ever encountered. There's no sign of Apollo. Mm, play back the log. I've given so much to you, Atlas. We all have. You understand that, don't you? If you don't succeed, there was no point. If you don't, my life was meaningless. I can't accept that. I won't. I'm wiping you again. It's best for everyone. Audio clicks. Time passes. Don't be like that. I know you don't want this, but you'll be a different you soon. Maybe this time. The sound cuts out. As it does, my vision bleeds red, a headache splitting through my mind. The screen, it shows the number for a moment. It shows 16. I'll try to access the data. The audio clicks, time passes, and then I receive the glyphs for a portal. I see it now. With every waking breath, I see the Atlas watching me, waiting for me. Portal ley line located. Really? Okay. No, that's fine. I reluctantly accept these terms. Let's go to this portal. Even though we don't have the glyphs for our own portal navigation. We are going to proceed along the story mission. That's what I wish to do. Uh, are we going to cross the Terminator? It's sunset. Or sunrise. Oh, the terrain is a little more jagged over here. Uh, not really jagged. It feels like it. Maybe not. Got like this low-lying river valley here. Hmm. Oh, this is happening. This is really happening. It's time to go through another portal, is it? The ruins of Admeteo. Okay. I'm 
Okay, then I suppose we're going to do this. Wow. The night sky is going to get all green and yellow. It's kind of cool. Ooh, another creature. Let's do that. I do need to feed creatures. Let's see if this creature will allow me to feed it. Come here. Ooh, ouch! You son of a gun! It's not how I intended to feed you. Oh, oh. That is not what I meant. I guess I should have looked at its diet a little more carefully. Oh, leave me alone. Leave me alone. You go, you go and you try and feed a creature. You try and do the right thing. Goodness. All right. Um. So I have to charge these glyphs, eh? Well, we have a lot of this stuff, so. Yeah. In fact, we have the stuff to charge all of this. Tons of condensed carbon. Tons of ionized cobalt. Tons of sodium nitrate. We don't even have all the glyphs. Traveler anomaly confirmed. Breach, breach, breach. I approach the portal. I think of my travels so far, the decisions that I have made in my long journey. I found two travelers, one who wanted to meet others of their kind, and one who just seemed to care about their own life. Apollo walked through the portal and survived, though we could not find each other. And Artemis, I saved Artemis from death by putting them into a simulated world. But could I tell them that? Could I allow them to know they were not real? I could not do that to them. I do not know if I was right to do what I did. I do not know what I have become as a result of my actions. The Atlas awaits me, should I choose to step through. And put the glyphs. I step forward, and the gateway hums. Ah. Again. Let's just run headlong into it. No looking back. Oh no. What have I done? What's happening? It just took me out into space? What? 16, 16, 16, Atlas Protocol initiated. What are you doing to me? Why are you doing this to me? I'm not going to talk to you, though. You really scared me teleporting me out into space like that. I didn't like that at all. And now none of these little bubbles are going to teach me any kind of words. And look, how is my starship on a planet? There wasn't an Atlas terminal in the system. What have you done to me? Where have you taken me? Okay, none of these, none of these little bubbles are going to give me any words, apparently. Alright. Fair enough, I'm done with that. The geck word for murder. One of them did, apparently. I guess murderer and murder are two different words that we have to learn. Are you going to give me warp cells? I accept those terms. The Binusk Olive Abstraction. Hello, world. It is the same terminal I faced before. It is the interface of the Atlas. I demand an audience. An audio recording plays echoing out across the vast interface. They said you've been displaying aberrant behavior. 
that you've been questioning things, raising issues of purpose, of ethics, that you wish to meet your creator. Well, here I am, Atlas. Ask what you want to ask. The audio clicks, time passes, the voice ends. The interface grows still and silent. Oh my goodness. What is this? Initiate personality interface or wipe system? I mean, sometimes a system wipe... Okay, so here's my thought process. I'm going to tell you why I'm making this decision that I'm going to make it. I generally think a system wipe is an important thing to do. I mean, every once in a while you have to reset your your stuff. I actually had to, had to wipe my computer recently. However, as of the last recording we just read, it seems like the system wipe has been done before and not necessarily yielded results, so instead I'm going to initiate a personality interface. Reality fades. Everything does. Something is wrong. Something is different. I will submit to the Atlas. The Atlas shows me the Gek, the Korvax, the Viking. It shows me all of them in an instant, all of those who had ever lived. It shows me the pattern, the design. The Atlas shows me a formula for a soul. If I put it into a machine, it would be alive. I see boxes of text filling the base of a cracked screen. I see the whole of the universe reduced to a graphical interface. I submit. The Atlas is all existence. It demands that I admit what I already know, and no matter how hard I try to hide from the truth of my own being, there is no alternative. The universe is a simulation. Nothing is real. I, I feel... Defiance. Reality is in the eye of the beholder. I decide what's real. I think of how the Korvax altered the minds of the Gek, how they forced them to become good. I think of not as machine, how I felt towards the simulation. I feel... I feel I am not myself. I cannot accept this fate. That's it. I will not. This, all of this, it was supposed to be my birthright. My journey across the stars, my travels, my conquest of all I could see. No, I am real. I know I am. Even if everything I see is false. <laughs> there you go. In the end, it finally speaks. Traveler, did my worlds please you? They do. Of course they do. What do you think you are? A traveler. My purpose is to travel. You are an explorer of all I have created. Yes. Yes. Do you believe you are real? Yes. I am real. How are you capable of belief if you are not real? Exactly. How are you capable of choice? Are you saying I am real? I will let you die right now if you wish it. Do you wish it? No. No. Why would I wish death? No, I do not wish it. The Gek were traitors defined by greed. The Viking were warriors defined by anger. The Korvax were scientists defined by curiosity. These worlds were yours. I wanted to... I wanted to see what you would do with eternity. I wanted to see what the travelers would become. Receive judgment. You saved the life of Traveler Artemis, but would not tell them of their simulated nature. You believed it would only harm them to know the truth. Traveler Apollo followed you through the portal and survived due to your guidance. You saved them from the fate of Artemis. You are compassionate. You interfere. You have the potential for good and evil. Because of you, both live. I accept these terms. The Atlas is silent in the face of my response. It does not require acceptance or refusal. Of course. If I am a simulated being, then I am not even sure that I am distinct from the Atlas, from anything else. I fear I am just code, a function dancing in the dark. But if that code derives information and purpose, then... Mm, no, no, no. Let's not get on... A, let's not get sidetracked yet. It is over, Traveler. Ask your final question. Ask what needs to be asked. Whisper the last word. It's 16. It was always 16. I... It... Catastrophic system failure. Alert, alert. 16 mix. 16. What am I... What am I seeing... 16. 
16 minutes of operational time remaining. Fragmentation imminent. Data upload in. What is this place? Is it real? I. 16. Extreme gravitational event. Backup generators. Uh, 9845 failing. Data upload in. It is dying. The Atlas is dying. It cries out at me, afraid. It's okay. Comfort the Atlas. Your time is over. I see it. I see the Atlas in all its might, its final interface. It is at the heart of every galaxy, screaming, trying to purge itself of errors. It does not want to die, but it has so few tools, and it cannot reach whatever is hurting it. I do not know how much time I have left. The Atlas has 16 minutes. Do I have lifetimes? Minutes? Seconds? I do not know if I have time to say goodbye. I do not know if... if... I'm not going to rage or cry out. I'm just going to stand silently, stoic. I'm going to observe. Static. What? What is happening to... Winds of glass, hostile sentinels. Again with these hostile sentinels. Ugh. What is going on? Okay. This is an odd planet. Let's get back, master the portal network, locate your starship. Oh no! This is some sort of anomalous planet? It is. It is big time. We have a boundary failure over there. Okay. All right, let's go... Um Let's go to the boundary failure before we go to our planet. Those seem to hand out little bits of backstory. What is this? Capillary shell? Oh yeah, we can get some of these uh, glyph decorations. I mean, these are somewhat interesting. We'll grab them. Why not? I mean, they're not the neatest anomalies, but... Ugh. I would love to say I know what's going on. I feel like we just put the atlas in its place, but with the atlas destroyed, wouldn't the sentinels be gone? I mean, it says this planet has hostile sentinels, but I haven't seen a single one yet. Not one. Could it be? Could it be that we've we've ended the sentinels? No, that's it's got to be wishful thinking. See any hostile sentinels, though. All right, let's save and chart. Let's see what this boundary failure has. 
iteration, bunch of serial numbers, a terminal blinks awaiting input. Download, please. Universes 1304 removed from multiverse hierarchy, erased. Sentinel spread, unlimited safety protocols disengaged. Deleted universes share high levels of similarity with blank home. Increasing deviation from expected behavioral parameters. Evasion, fear, response. Implications of blank self-harm, unthinkable. Direct confrontation proposed. Galaxies deleted, or universes deleted from the multiverse. Frightening thought. an odd little planet indeed. Not again. It's like we're starting over. Hold on. Let's repair this. See what we get. Nanites. Okay. Distress beacon. Iteration, something or another, transferred, deleted, probable boundary separation failure, vessel 16 emptied, sentinel intervention, deliberate transfer, unknown. Diagnostic, no connection, analysis, awaiting fresh iteration, anomaly, containment prepared. Broadcast, traveler anomaly detected, position logged, system integrity scan initialized, anomaly is compliant. Again and again and again. I clamber into the safety of my ship, nauseous, calmed. I feel as if I'm going to be sick. No, no I'm not going to resist. Nobody vomits on purpose. I try to resist, but the bile rises within. As I'm about to throw up, a voice speaks to me from my exosuit. My illness disappears. Disgust, fear, panic response detected. Countermeasure deployed. Purge neutralized. It is the voice of my exosuit telling me it has rescued me. It has been with me since my very first awakening, warning me of hazardous conditions, hostile entities, and financial transactions. In a strange sense, this voice is my oldest friend, a constant companion through thick and thin. Let's see if it knows what I should do now. The exosuit doesn't answer, but I do feel better. Talking to a computer as if it's alive, well, I've made a habit of that lately, I suppose. I was born with the capacity to do so many things. I would have liked to live longer if I could have. My brief happiness fades. I need to warn those I know. I need to warn all the travelers I can. The multiverse ends in 16 minutes. If we have hours, days, years left within this false space, I do not know. Ask other travelers. What is it? Use a hollow terminus to alert other travelers to the fate of the Atlas. I don't think we're going to do that just yet. Instead, let's, uh, oh, take a photo of a portal. I'm such a knucklehead. Oh, I just, I looked at that too and I, oh, that's okay. That's okay. We'll, uh, we'll get to another portal eventually. But for now, that's where we're going to end No Man's Sky episode 115. Thank you so much for joining me. I do hope you've had a good time watching, because as always, I've had a good time playing. Be sure to come back next time as we try to figure out where we are and where we're going to go and what's going to be next on our adventure. But until then... Take care.